Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bum? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see... In a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we going to take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go.
flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? Poor kid. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. 
He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Dreaming again. 
Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did someone escape the fire? stop at the time of the fire. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure.
I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the bloodstains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. There's something disturbing about this painting. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. A crowbar could prove useful. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. room.
Reynolds Ford? From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. This door is locked. What will her room reveal about her? This padlock is too complicated for me. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Bradley? Is that you?
Is anyone there? You. I heard running in this corridor. There's an intruder in the house. It was him. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Do you really times. think that your fugitive came in? Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. seems to have been part of some mechanism. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. 